Hello, my name is Iman Abbakar. I'm a final year student at Oxford Brookes University. I've studied ITMB. I just completed my course in um, ITMB, Information Technology Management for Business. Um, I've done a project on e-learning in developing country, countries and I've focused on my country, Nigeria. I have, along with the project, I have designed a system, a proposed e-learning system to support education in Nigeria. I have used a school in Nigeria to, to come up with my requirements for this system. Um, like I said, this project is about e-learning in developing countries, identifying challenges, discussing wider issues, such as the social and economic impact of e-learning. And I've also tried to make some suitable recommendations on how to improve the quality of education using technology. Um, <coughs> I've developed a system called STUIS. It's an e-learning system developed specifically to suit the needs of Nigerian secondary schools. Um, the web-based virtual, virtual learning environment is tailored to support the learning process of students between the ages of 14 and 18. Um, the aim of the project is to develop a flexible e-learning system that will improve learning, learning opportunities within high schools in Nigeria and foster positive effects. I have witnessed and experienced an Im the impact of technology on education. Um, when I was first told I had to do a project, I started off thinking, well, how do I use all the knowledge I've gathered to make a difference in my country? Because I, uh, I want to go back and I want to see things differently. I want to see people do things differently. So I started off thinking, how do I use the knowledge of acquired here to go back there and make a difference? And I thought of the educational system, and uh, that's my motivation. That's where, that's why I chose to do this pro project. Um, the problem, the main problem in Nigeria, is lack of quality education, and then lack of technological learning resources, which is also which contributes. Um, it, um, I find it interesting because it is an area I can continue to explore for years to come and potentially build a career on. So that's why I was really interested in looking into this. Uh, so like I said earlier, to get the requirements, I went to my secondary school in Nigeria. I met with the Dean of Studies and uh, we sat down, we had a conversation and that's how I came up with the requirements. I asked the questions about because it's a school where they have e-learning but um, <coughs> I'm trying to be politically correct it's a school where they have e-learning but they don't really have a system there's no procedure they've got all the resources they've got the computers the Wi-Fi wi everything to make it work but there's just no system available to them so I went there and we sat down and conversed and that's how I came up with my requirements and having been there myself I I had an idea of the things they would require so that was very helpful during the course of my project I found um, that educational institutions are heavily invested in ICT tools to meet technological demands of today's world uh, and improvement in education could also help with the overall GP, GDP of the country. So it's, it's really just the way to go. Uh, yeah, some of the main issues in Nigeria are just lack of proper policy implementation, lack of skills, lack of resources, lack of technological confidence, and lack of motivation. So in the course of doing my project, I've tried to identify ways we can we can address these issues and also in building the system I have taken into consideration 
the lack of skills in the country and how to go about addressing this issue. This is the background, basically the mission of the system is to inspire and support schools to take positive action so that the education of every child is enhanced by good access to and use of learning technologies. The system I ended up coming up with um, has the following functionalities. <coughs> so a student is able to view their subjects, see, uh, view their list of subjects and read notes basically on each subject. and read their notes, the teachers design the contents and these students go on there and they have access to it from anywhere, even after class hours. The students are able to search for their teachers, uh, they're able to view their timetable, the teachers can set up homeworks and the students get to see them and set the deadline, the details of the homework, everything regarding the homework. Um, also, they're able to read latest news from a web, from a, I've, I've streamed this from <coughs> a current, one of the most current Nigerian news websites, so it streams live and yeah, it just keeps the students up to date with what is going on in their country and they just get to know. <laughs> and uh, important dates and the clubs clubs and societies there. So these these requirements are based on the day to day activity of uh, activities of uh, normal secondary of of the school I went to talk to. Uh, obviously there are many ways I can improve the system but I had a short period to do the project and I'm I also appreciate if I could get any support with technical skills to to improve the functionalities of the system. I also have other functionalities I would like to include to the project eventually with as time goes by. The mission of this project is to inspire and support schools to take positive action so that the education of every single child is enhanced by good access to and the use of learning technologies <coughs> when and where they need them. So regardless of what kind of school you're in, what, how much you pay, how much you don't pay, you deserve access to good quality education and even better with technological resources. So thank you for listening to me.